Hey everybody, welcome to Richter Knives, episode 5. And uh, I just wanted to take a bit of my lunch break at Sonic. You can tell, drinking Sonic, they have the best Dr. Pepper ever. I digress, that's beside the point. Anyways, uh, what I wanted to do is just come on here and say hi. And first, let's see what's in my pocket. So I've got the mini Griptilian Benchmade. And this is riding in my pocket. I haven't even had to use it today, which is strange. I usually use a lot of knives today, but it is what it is. I'm sure I'll use it four days over with. And got my slip handmade that I made here. And uh, it's got my Sawbuster Jr. in it. And that is chestnut bone. I showed this in my case collection video. CV steel. Right? Anywho. Uh, what else I got? Same wallet. Open sea leather. Top cider. And... What else I got? Zippo. Man's got to have fire. So that's what I got. So uh, I was just going to say thank you all to those who are giving me shout outs. Holy moly. I was watching a random video yesterday, just like I always do on YouTube. I'll, you know, um, if I'm, uh, you know, got a little bit of downtime or whatever, I got 15 minutes. I'll throw on one. Sometimes I don't even watch them. I kind of just listen to what they got to say. Uh, this time I just so happened to be watching. And I heard my name. And I was like, whoa, that is Richter Knives. I was like, I'll be. And I listened to what he had to say. It was Georgia Adventure. Uh, one of the guys that me and him follow each other on Instagram. And I follow him on uh, TikTok and things like that. And we talk uh, every now and then. And... Uh, He's a cool guy, very cool guy. And he was shouting me out. Um, man, I've had a lot. Messer HQ. Uh, uh, been talking to Randy Johnson a little bit. Dude, I can't say how cool it is for the folks that I'm sitting here watching. Uh, and they're, they're literally making my... Uh, thought process on knives and it's just coming to me and you know I'm so influenced by them and them shouting me out because I have a YouTube channel and it's a very small YouTube channel right now <laughs> I just started just a few days ago but man it's so cool to see uh, all these folks I look up to and I'm watching all the time I mean almost to me you're like celebrities but friends at the same time it's kind of Kind of strange but y'all know what i'm talking about if you're in the knife community i'll say right now the knife community is the coolest i've gotten gifts uh i've sent gifts and you'll be blown away by some of the stuff people send you and the nice things people say about you i've almost i ain't gonna say i never had negative uh interactions but you know it's very rare very rare and I, i'm just uh I'm pretty overwhelmed by how folks are treating me. Um, I'm just a dude that likes knives. That's it. Uh, I only start a YouTube channel because I'm not trying to get rich. I'm, I'm not going to get rich off a YouTube channel. Uh, because I have a passion for knives. And um, not every day you get to talk knives to people. I have a couple of friends. Um, my brother, Randy. Randy. I got, I got a couple friends that have knives and they'll talk knives to me, but uh, it almost seems that like anything I say, um, I have to kind of tiptoe, you know what I'm saying? Or somebody's gonna think I'm a freak. You know, like all you ever think about is knives. Well, not really, it's not all I think about, but I like them a lot. And 
I'm just releasing that right through a YouTube channel. Uh, I like interacting with y'all. I like, um, you know, looking at your knives, looking at my knives, talking knives, um, talking EDC. What do you got in your pockets? Uh, I try every single day to change what's in my pocket. And every now and then I'll carry a knife for probably, I don't know, uh, maybe I've carried one for like a month one time. Um, but I like to carry my knives. This right here, I hardly ever carry this. My son gave it to me. My son, Levi, he's uh, fixing to be 19. He gave this to me, so I love this. I cherish it. Um, and my bug out, my custom bug out, the uh, Axis Spring, Omega Spring, whatever you call it, it broke. Uh, that's a bummer. So I got to send it back to Benchmade. And I'll shoot a video on that when it comes back and kind of uh review you know what i think about all that and how good of a job they've done i'm sure they'll do fine also i was gonna uh do another video on my 47 gc viper i'm gonna put a new lanyard on that the one i got on it is so old it's about to fall apart anyway so i was just gonna bring y'all along with me and uh i may polish it up i may clean it up we'll see so uh I've got a few things that I want to do and a few videos I want to make. So just checking in right now. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below, even share. Uh, I love interacting with y'all. Every one of y'all's comments, I'm going to comment back. I mean, it's not a huge channel. I don't have thousands of comments. So I can afford the time to sit there and, and uh, you know, talk to y'all, man. I, that's what I want to do. That's what this is about. So uh love the knife uh community i uh, want to say hi to y'all and y'all have a good day bye